this is a Bluetooth module, and today we are going to use it to say hello world. What is going on everyone? Today's video is going to be an introduction to the world of IoT electronics. For this project, we are going to wire up a Bluetooth low energy module to an Arduino and have it communicate with an iOS device. This video is a part of a new series where we will be doing a lot of beginner level projects. So there will be a link to an IoT basics playlist in the description if you wanna see more videos like this. And with that out of the way, let's just jump into it. So as I mentioned before, we will be using a Bluetooth low energy module from Adafruit to communicate with our iOS device. Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE for short, is a version of Bluetooth that optimizes energy consumption and enables the device to be as efficient as possible. BLE is great for battery-powered devices that do not necessarily require an ultra-high data speed. Some of the common use cases for BLE are keyboards, mice, and some audio devices such as speakers and headphones. Okay, so let's go over the materials you will need for this project. Adafruit offers a couple different varieties of Bluetooth modules on their website, and for this project we went with the BLE Spy Friend. This module is designed to communicate with the Arduino via spy communication, and this will allow us to add more devices if we want. You might see that in a future video. For our microcontroller, we chose the Arduino Uno. Because the BLE Spy module is 5V compatible, we don't need to use any level shifters to convert the 5V logic to 3.3V logic. The only thing you need besides those two components are some jumper wires. I would recommend different colors so it's easy to keep track of the different spy lines. And perhaps a breadboard could make wiring everything up a bit more convenient. Speaking of wiring up the module, let's talk about how we're going to wire up the module. Wiring up the BLE module is pretty straightforward. Here's a drawing of the wiring diagram. The main connections we need are the spy lines, so the spy clock, MISO, MOSI, and chip select. And in addition to that, the BLE module requires that we connect one GPIO to the IRQ pin of the BLE module. To power the module, we have an option of either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. So we are going to go with the 5 volt from the Arduino. Before we get started with writing our Hello World program, let's go ahead and download the Bluefruit Connect app onto our iOS device. This app is what allows us to pair with our BLE module and send receive data from it. The app has a lot of different features and settings for different Bluetooth functions, but for this project, we only need to worry about the UART feature. The next thing we want to do is open the Arduino IDE and install Adafruit's Bluefruit NRF51 library. This is an open source library that includes a bunch of examples we can use to control our BLE module. Once we have our library installed, we are going to import the Bluefruit data mode example into our IDE. This example is a good starting point for our Hello World program because it works in a similar way to the Hello World program that we will eventually write. The basic function of this program is to send receive data to and from the BLE module and the iOS device that is paired with the BLE module. Looking at the code, it may seem a bit complicated and overwhelming, but there are really only three main sections that we need to worry about. The first section, which is lines 1 through 161, is the initialization of the module and the pairing of the iOS device. This is where we do things like set up the communication between the Arduino and the BLE module, choose which mode we want the module to operate in, and turn on off some of the miscellaneous settings. This section takes up most of the whole program, so after this part it gets much easier. The second section of the code, lines 162 through 177, is in our main loop, and it deals with sending data from the Arduino to the iOS device. As you can see, it's a pretty simple block of code that reads the user input from the serial monitor, and then uses a function that is included in the Bluefruit NRF51 library to transmit the data through the BLE module. The last section of the code, lines 180 through 192, works in a similar fashion. It uses some functions that are included in the Bluefruit library to read in data from our BLE module and print it to the serial monitor. Let's go ahead and upload this program to our Arduino to get a demonstration and see how it works. Once the Arduino has been flashed, the BLE module goes into a holding pattern while it waits for a device to pair with it. Pulling up our Bluefruit Connect app, we can see that our BLE module shows up in the Discoverable Devices section. Once we have paired with the BLE module, a blue LED lights up to indicate that the pair was successful and it is ready to start communicating with our iOS device. Let's try out a quick test message and see what gets printed to the serial monitor. 
Sending the message RGB engineering results in each individual character getting printed to the serial monitor along with some numbers. Looking back at the code, we can see that it has instructions to print the characters of our message along with a hexadecimal representation of our characters for debugging purposes. So let's say we just want to see our message and nothing else. What should we do? The first step would be to get rid of the lines of code that instruct the Arduino to print the hex values. So let's do that and see what we get. Now we see only our characters, but every message has a zero at the end. So why is that? The answer lies in how the Bluetooth protocol is set up for this example. Basically, it uses the zero at the end of the message to denote that we have reached the end of the message. It's sort of like how people talking on a walkie talkie end every sentence with the word over. It is very useful when you're trying to process the data that is coming in. In order to filter out this end of line character, we are going to use an if statement that says to ignore the character if it equals zero. And that looks like this. And that's pretty much all we need to do to get our hello world project to work. This project is a great starting point for beginners who are just starting out with the IoT devices. I'm planning to release a bunch more videos on this topic, so subscribe so you can stay up to date with those. You can get access to this Arduino sketch and a bunch of other electrical engineering content by becoming a patron of the RGB Engineering Patreon page. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Hopefully I will see you in the next one.